The overall goal of this procedure is to visualize the glycogen content of peripheral blood mononuclear cells. This is accomplished by first isolating PBMCs from human whole blood using density gradient centrifugation. The second step is to prepare sample slides by smearing or pipetting the blood cells and then treating them with fixative solution, followed by washing. Next, for a negative control, half of the slide is immersed in amylase solution, which dissolves glycogen polymers, followed by a wash. Now, the samples are stained with periodic acid solution, followed by a wash. The final step is to add the Schiff's reagent, followed by a wash. Ultimately, light microscopy is used to show the glycogen stores inside the cells. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods is that there are more mononuclear cells per slide as compared to whole blood staining. Thus, it's more efficient to analyze glycogen content in lymphocytes since neutrophils and red blood cells are absent. To begin this procedure, in a biosafety cabinet, carefully transfer 10 to 15 milliliters of whole blood from the heparinized blood collection tube into a 50 milliliter sterile conical tube. Next, dilute the blood in PBS 1x at pH 7.4 at a ratio of 1 to 1. And in